Hi there, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Last night I shared some projects with you and one of them I used the Dandelion Wishes. When I got the stamps out to mount it, I realized after I put the sticker on that this is one of the old clear mount stamps and the label is not sticky. Here's how to find the difference. The older clear mount stamps are marked clear mount at the top of the case and the newer ones are cling stamps. The big difference is the sticker inside. These stickers are not very sticky. As you can see here, <laughs> it will not stick to the block. The new cling mount stamps include new sticker sheets and when you apply them to your stamp, it is sticky and will stick to the clear block. Last night during my video, I showed you how to use the new cling adhesive to convert the clear mount stamps to be sticky and cling. However, I put them on the stamp wrong and so I just wanted to pop on and clarify how to correctly apply the cling adhesive so that you don't have oh excuse me so you don't have a mess on your block can you see all that sticky residue I put the permanent adhesive uh, I did it reverse so the permanent adhesive went on the block I've got some undo I'm gonna use to clean up my block but I just wanted to show you the right way to put the cling adhesive on this is a package of cling adhesive if you have an annual catalog you're gonna find it here on page 162 it's pictured right here as number 13 and so it is item number 152452 it's eight dollars and it includes multiple sheets that have um, these little strips. So I'm not sure how many sheets are in here. Does it say? It just says there's 168. So I think that's the individual like tabs. Okay, so the way I did it last night, which is wrong, is I peeled the whole sticker off and I put it on my stamp. That, however, is the side that is supposed to stick to the block. So what you want to do is you want to peel off the paper part. This is just like if you were mounting your stamp. So let me show you with the cling adhesive that comes with the stamps how you would do it. So normally you would peel off the top layer and you would reveal your, your index image. So you're gonna take the stamp and you're gonna put it straight down on the image. And then when you peel it off, you have the sticky that sticks to the block. So we're using the same concept with the cling adhesive sheets. So we need to peel off the paper. Oh, it's, it's kind of sticky, so you have to be careful. You want to peel off just as many paper strips as you want. So I'm going to do a bigger section there. You don't have to cover the entire image, but you just want most of it to stick to the block. So I'm just going to go right in the center. So I peeled it off. And I've got, this is going to be sticky, so I'm sticking this right on, putting it upside down, and then just like I did with my index labels, I peel it off and the sticky is right there, and now it's going to stick to the block. This image needs a slightly bigger block, but it will peel off just like it's supposed to and store and you won't get that messy residue. So I did it wrong last night. I just wanted to show you the right way to use the cling adhesive. This is also really good if you have old wood mount blocks. I don't have any to show you with, but if you have old wood mount blocks, you can take them off the block and then you can put some of the cling adhesive on your foam so that they can stick to the clear blocks or stamparatus. All right, that's it for me today. Sorry again that I led you the wrong way last night, but I just wanted to show you the right way to use the cling adhesive. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.